Welcome to the show. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Sydney. Good afternoon, the Cross River. Good afternoon, Calab. It's good to be back here, you know, to actually take you round 360 in the world of sport. And it's uh, like uh, Uncle Coco said quite earlier, uh, it's the best sports show you can ever get uh, this side of uh, South South. And for me, I'm always proud and also humble, you know, it's part of uh, such a great issue right here. For me, starting off, I uh, uh, would be starting off with athletics. Uh, you talked about it in the news to where the Lagos City. Marathon race. Yeah, I yes. think it's actually become pretty. Yes, so I actually, I, 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 I'm actually. Oh, <laughs> God, I told you that. I told you that all that thing was blamed. Straight up blamed. But I told you that. I told you that. Straight up blamed. 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 Straight up no, we wait down. The race is actually next week, you know, next week Saturday, uh -huh. and um, uh, just um, yesterday, uh, twenty thousand elite athletes have actually been confirmed for that particular race. But um, that's not the story for me. The story is that the Athletics Federation of Nigeria were supposed to be in Jalingo, Taraba State today for the mm -hmm. 20 kilometer you know cross country race but due to the fact that the Lagos City um uh, marathon race is one of the biggest and also rated you know worldwide um well um they had to cancel that um, 20, 10 kilometer cross country race today in Talabar State. You know, they made an addition by the Athletics Federation of Nigeria because most of those athletes, you know, would also be trying to see if they can win the prize money. We know for sure that, you know, the elites, you know, uh, prize money, Nigerians cannot clinch it. It's uh, literally for the West Af um, the East African, you know, okay. side. But at least uh, we have. You know, first second prize uh, for Nigerians to finish. That first Nigerian to finish, and yes, if you want to look at you know the statistics, it has always been you know athletes you know from the northern side, oh, which nice. you know nice. their climatic condition has actually helped them you yeah. know to progress in that particular one. Now, away from that, we talk okay. about Scrabble. You know the World Scrabble, Scrabble Com competition. Yes, you know, I wish there's anybody up. out there that would actually challenge me to a Scrabble game. Well, I, I, I think you should have been. No. <laughs> It just takes me back to yeah, um, uh, Jimmy, sorry for cutting you yeah. off. I remember during my days in mm. secondary school, mm. uh, you know, with the school I went to, they used to well, every Friday yeah. uh, they had um, students to carry out a broadcast on news, you know, of what happened. Um, within, school, the school, yeah, yeah. within the school, within the school, we used to have one mention his name. Now, in a very big boy, okay. so I don't want to trouble. I took all that money, he sent me money for him. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying I'm answering yeah. yeah. to me. But, 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 but hold up, we're live, we're live and present on uh, social media. So go to Facebook, you'll find us there. We're live and present. Me, myself, and I, Uncle Coco, Jimmy, you'll find us. Yes, leave a comment. You can eventually catch a glimpse about. What we actually look like, yes, I'm going to go, what are telling you that he looks like a heavyweight boxer? <laughs> but, but not what, what's the Facebook handle? Uh, well, the Facebook handle is at sparkling923fm. So go straight up, sparkling923fm. You will find us there. We're live, active, and present. We're talking sports right here. Join in with the conversation. We have this particular one with Ozo Francis Namani, all the way from Enugu. He says, Ozo Francis Namani is watching live from... Uh, Amagwenze in Enugu State. So Good I'm afternoon here. from here and happy weekend to everyone. Happy weekend to you and happy, happy sporting yeah. events happy to you. Happy weekend everywhere. to you in Enugu and everywhere you can. Just follow us on, on the Facebook page as announced by Simi. You will see everybody like you see Jimmy. Um, Jimmy the talker. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Jimmy Jimmy yeah. Butler. Jimmy <laughs> Butler. Why, are you, I, I, why are you calling him the talker? When he talks now, he was actually he was, he's not doing the talk. He just really likes talking the talk. Uh, he he does promised us he was going to be a part of it. Oh, could we be in a transport field? Because people are not going to be. No, no, no. I'm not going to be. 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 I was thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, every Friday, you know, there is this. Um, they give students opportunity to talk, to broadcast news of what happened in, on, on, in school. This particular guy speaks as in quaint English. Mm. I, I guess maybe he was born outside or so, but he can, with the exception of his name, mm. I'm not sure his name, mm. any other thing he cannot write, I'm telling you the truth. Mm. Small, that's a fresh guy. Mm. He can speak very well. He, you know, that guy, eh, I will leave him. But when it comes to writing, mm. he's poor. So I'm not surprised uh, if Jimmy is saying that um, uh, he will be a part of 
le gosse m'a dit ça. Il a dit ça. Il a dit ça. Il a dit ça. Il a Okay, so talking about the scribble, yes, uh, currently the, um, the qualifiers uh, for the World Scribble Championship that will be taking place in the US much later this year is currently taking place in Delta. And uh, the Nigerian Scribble the Federation actually announced a 26 man you know, um, contingent for the particular qualifiers. And hopefully, you know, by Monday, we should have a comprehensive list of uh, Nigerian Scrabble players that will be heading to the United States for the World Scrabble Championship you know, to represent Nigeria. And hopefully, they will to fly Nigerian's flag right there at the World Championship. But away from that, we were looking at uh, basketball. Well, there's disturbing news that the Tigers might likely miss their third FIBA uh, World Qualifier fires that will be taking place in Uganda due to positive or fonts and for me um it's quite sad news because uh, remember what happened to the D Tigers where uh, they got qualification but the federal government decided to suspend all basketball you know activities in Nigeria costing the D Tigers the chance to represent you know um Nigeria at the world uh, championship which they actually gave that slot to Mali mm -hmm. and you know we, we saw the drama the Mali guys yes uh, they did the right there so I uh, hopefully uh, that uh, those concerned would actually take this opportunity you know to ensure that the D Tigers you know make it to that FIBA World Cup because that's um I think aside football that's one of the sports that has actually given Nigeria an edge because you could, you could mention that Nigerians also making waves in the NBA and we can afford not to be at the FIBA just to ensure that we have our names you know written right there in gold and um no but Jimmy, Jimmy eh, yeah, um, okay. talking about the, the Tigers um uh, okay we'll be going through the third qualifying yes window, yeah and uh, we need to let our listeners know that um our qualification is not in our hands any longer yeah and you know, we bottled it up. The two windows that uh, we played, we played the two different coaches. Uh, the, I think the, the, no, they played four. Yeah, they Three, played four. The the, fourth. Yes. You understand? The first window was uh, actually supervised uh, by the Nigerian Basketball Federation. Then the other two windows were... Uh, yeah, because of the policies. Of yeah. the, um, the policies, sports ministry. Yeah. You know, when, when, we, when we tell our um, leaders, we tell people in administration that when we talk, speak to them, they will feel that at times they will call us behind the scene, guy, why you go talk this thing on air? But we will continue saying the truth. Yeah. We will say the truth. When, we, when, when your house is not in unison, you know, a house that is divided within itself, this is the result you get. Even if we get to participate, mm. that's the truth. We are not sure of qualifying. True. The last qualifying window, we bottled it up, uh, where we lost, I think we lost to Kivet, and we lost to... We lost two games. Uh, two games. Two games, uh, games uh, yeah. Uh, you know, different things. You can just imagine... We played three windows. The one was supervised by the uh, the, the NBF, the other two uh, by the sports ministry. Then different coaches. One uh, Vincent was in charge. I think Abdurrahman was in charge in one. So you know there is no consistency, cohesion, no yeah. question, no 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 seriousness. And this one now that is not in our hands. Mm. I believe maybe the people in the, at the federation or in the ministry yeah. as it stands are like, even though we feel no qualified, mm. why spend spend so much so much money after? Football, mm. basketball has actually the, big, the biggest. And I think it is the most followed sport in, in Nigeria. Spa. For yeah. how many years now we've not had our league? Um, yeah, our we age and um, yeah, the uh, um, um, uh, competition. We've not Nigerian team has not been part of the competition. We have the talent. And if you go through around Nigeria, even in Calabar, yeah. and, I, and the other day I was uh, okay. Somebody drove me through one particular area. I saw guys play basketball on the streets. They like, played. Go to all the schools. Go you to know, schools and like everybody's that. playing. But, but administration wise, management wise, we still not to get it. I don't just understand now. They're not coming out to tell us. Positive of funds, mm. but some other persons are saying like so those who feel they have different of cultural opinions. Yeah. It's like they since the qualification is no longer in our hands. Mm. Why just um just but well, it has always money. been a Nigerian thing. It's always, Nigerian yeah. thing. Yeah. But, but, but what if you check in Europe, in America, when it comes to basketball uh, players, exploitation of basketball and uh, players, like that seems to have the idea. The so why are we struggling mm. to qualify? Now I I, I still not understand. Then do us. <laughs> well, uh, yes, uh, th that's the news. We just hopefully that uh, money would come for for the details to actually put the house in order to actually progress. And uh, away from that, um, we talked about the just concluded national sport festival, and um, well, we have been talking about it over and over again here. And um, but just uh, two days ago, the Bielsa State Governor has actually you know rewarded athletes with employment. 
wow. and scholarship wow. for crying out loud for every athlete that was able to win any medal this one is not about gold silver or any bronze yes so for you the ones without job you'll be given employment the ones that um, want to go to school you know and that's courtesy of the government you what know of bios that's that's that's, that's, that's the point that's why that's <laughs> no, that's why that's why this is coming up right here because um we have been calling for even a thank you dinner no 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 thank you dinner yet no thank you dinner no christmas celebration with the athletes nothing and we have even we are even hearing reports that uh, not the exact number of uh, yeah, contingents, yeah, you know. Good. So, so these are things, you know, for me, and that's that's why you know he's actually making the news today on the show. Yo, Jimmy, Uncle Coco, and every other sport enthusiast listening, this mm. is an opportunity for us to listen to their manifesto and hear that person that is interested in sport. If your major interest existing here in sport mm. is to foster sports, grow sports, belong to sports, participate in sports. Listen to that candidate out there ha. that is talking about one thing or the other hey. on sport. Hey. Then you can go Sydney. out and vote. Sydney, let me shock you. Mm -hmm. it, it is quite pathetic. Yeah, that I agree. All the candidates, like this one is straight up. All the major candidates vying for position in cross, they have not said anything about sports. Yeah, we know. That, that's that's the sad thing, you know. I, I was listening to one yesterday, okay. and it was quite sad. Yeah. All through the you know bravados of whatever they were saying, at the end of the day, sport was missing. And the question is, how are we going to announce the talents we have? You know, they thanks, thanks to Doctor Van uh, Industry. I, I, just, I just told you guys that Nigeria mm. somehow, somehow, although Uncle Coco is battling with that fact, is that we made fifth. I'm um, sorry, fourth position. Fifth position. Yeah, fifth in the fifth fifth position. Yeah. For the players for the transfer set of players transferred mm. during the 2022 transfer window is that a, a shocker to you guys that, that we just for football <laughs> yes about 700 in the whole world something people moved their nigerians in sport anyways we have a caller right here in the house let us hear what this person has to say this afternoon hello good afternoon yes good afternoon to you Can you hear us? All right, he's too old to call back. If you would want to contribute, though, like we said, we'll be throwing the lines open enough today. 08092300022 or 08092300025. Let's just hear what's going on with you out there. We have another caller right here. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon to you. Yes, I can hear you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Alrighty, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. This is Sports Cruise, this is sport right? Cruise. We we talk sport right here yeah. exclusively. Okay. Right, just sport. Well, pardon us, right? Yeah. Uh, nothing has been shifted concerning the collection. It is what it is. Thirty mm. first. If you're not done with the old notes, thirty first is thirty first. What yeah. time is it now? Uh, yeah. Banks open nine. No, there's some banks have opened today. No, almost all banks. Mm. If not all banks open today, and the closing time will be three, 3 p.m. So they open from nine in the morning and will be closing shortly that by three p.m. Tomorrow will be from ten to two. Um, tomorrow is Sunday. It's Sunday, mm. yes, ten to oh, two. Oh, okay. Exclusively for this change of naira notes. Naira notes. No yeah. bank is changing naira notes. You can go to the banks and do your deposits. Mm. You they go to ATM and, and withdraw. And withdraw. And the withdrawal at ATM is twenty thousand naira. Limits for yes. now. No, no, no. So, for now, right? For now, Although so, it has been adjusted to forty, yes. Yeah, yeah, to forty, yes. So, but if you know you have old notes with you, mm. uh, you still have the opportunity. Uh, it's just uh, five minutes to two. Uh, you have an hour to walk uh, into okay. which, whichever mm. bank and make sure you do your deposit. Yeah. Then tomorrow, there's still another opportunity, another window. Ten a.m. Ten in the morning to two, you can go there and do your deposit. The thirty-one January deadline date still stands. Yeah. So don't let anybody tell you that there's there will be a shift in dates. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Yes, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, I can. Your name and where you calling us from? I'm calling from Calabar. I am in Nigeria. All right, Williams, go ahead. Please, I wanted to find out that the deadline for the old Naira notes is shifted. 
You know, it has it. No, we, we just know, talked about that. We just talked about it. We have the old Naira notes. Find a way to today change it. And tomorrow, then, up to 31st. A Monday. Like, like I said, 10 to 3 today, 9 to 3 p.m., yeah, you still have like an hour. Go there and deposit your old Naira yeah, notes. Yeah. Then tomorrow, you still have the time to 2. That like today is 9 to 3. Yeah. Tomorrow is 10 to 2. So go there and make your deposit. The date has not been changed, please. It right. has not been changed. Okay, okay, so today um we'll be talking football. We'll be talking cricket. Also a bit of Formula One. We will go all the way to tennis. Yeah, that's the biggest. That's yeah. the biggest. Yeah, we've got yeah. to the final. Yeah, yeah. yeah for, for me, yes. Um, um, I think before coming to the studio, um, Sydney Uncle Coco, yeah, I was enjoying table tennis at his apex. Tennis on the table. Not <laughs> no, 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 they were upset in the female category, even in the male category. But as we speak right now, we uh -huh. have a Grand Slam winner. Exactly. The very first time, you know, winning the Grand Slam for me. And um, no one saw this coming. Yeah. But for me, I think it's something that we should celebrate because um, uh, beating a certain... Um, Elena, you know, to win the Grand Slam, yes, please shows that. Rabakina. Yes, Rabakina, yeah. you know, played against um, Sabalenka. Uh, Sabalenka. Sabalenka won, yeah, uh, 2 yeah, yeah, 1, yeah, you know, won. coming from behind, mm -hmm. you know, she actually win that particular one, that 6 3, 6 4, 6 4, you know, for me, clearly shows that definitely she was willing and wanted to make that uh, change. Hello. Yay, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm doing good, and how are you? Uh -huh. hmm. About this money, ATM, and uh, that was one of the years, I mean, you pay, uh -huh. they pass it by the highway. Okay. They are dropping money, they hold those, but to get the deal on from ATM, there's nothing there, and it's like, don't stop breaking. No, people, see, I want you to understand, remember that the amount you can have with you now has been totally reduced. And right? Even can tell that what you can never get from the ATM. Oh. Oh, boom, I understand. All right. No problem, my brother. All right, now. How, how, how does all of you have Do you have your PVC? Oh yeah, <laughs> that is the need to And we have joining us straight up this afternoon. He has head coach cricket crossover. He's on an intense job. Matter of fact, I saw 